Now we all know that in a golf bag we need 14 clubs, we need golf balls, we need tees, we need gloves, we need all of the above to go and play a round of golf. But there's some things, some stupid things, which a lot of people don't think of. In this video, I'm going to go through seven stupid things that every golfer should have in their golf bag to help them go and play a round of golf. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to my channel and this is your first time watching my content, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button. My goal is to bring you daily golf related videos that help you up your game, lower your handicap, and basically improve your overall enjoyment of golf, whilst having a bit of a laugh along the way. Today I have got seven stupid things that every golfer should have in the golf bag, but don't necessarily think about putting in there. Let's get straight to it. Thing number one, plasters and wrap tape. As you can see here, everyone should have, maybe not. As you can see here, even I can use this for video purposes and whatnot. But say if I had an injury on the golf course, this would be the first thing I would reach for. I'd wrap it around the finger a little bit better than that. And hey presto, that's sorted. There's nothing worse than reaching into your golf bag for something, stubbing your finger on a tee, stubbing your finger on a pencil lead, and from there, bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. Has anybody got any plasters? Yes, you've got plasters, you've got wrap tape, you've also got um, the, well, you, you can use scissors. You've got the scissors so you can cut those off. I mean, you can use a knife if you want, but we'll put that away for now. Thing number two. Now, other marker pen brands are available. Sharpie just happened to be the most popular at the moment. Everybody should have a Sharpie marker in the bag. When you mark your golf ball on the first tee, when you're drawing things in your stroke saver, you're doing ticks, crosses, where to hit, where not to hit, Sharpie markers are invaluable, and there is nothing more annoying than when people step on that first tee and say, has anybody got a Sharpie marker I can borrow? No! I haven't got a Sharpie marker you can borrow. Good job that didn't explode on the wall, because a nice red patch on the wall wouldn't have gone down well. Thing number three of stupid things in the golf bag every golfer should have. That's right, a sandwich bag. And I haven't just had my lunch, I'm not gonna put anything else in here apart from golf gloves. Now golf gloves, especially leather ones, are very expensive. If you find yourself going through loads and loads of golf gloves and they go hard, they go a bit moldy, they just get awful after a couple of rounds of golf, Sandwich bags are where it's at. If it rains, if it's hot, if it's humid, this takes away all the air that can get to the leather. It stops them going hard, it stops them ruining after a couple of rounds, and you will save yourself a fortune on golf gloves. Look at this. I've had loads of different golf gloves in here for a couple of weeks. Pick one out and just look at that. Just feel that. Feel how soft that is. Anyway. Sandwich bags. Let's move on. The fourth thing on my list of stupid things that golfers should always have in their golf bags is lip protection. If you're playing in the cold, if you're playing in the warm, if you're playing in the wind, if you're playing in pretty much any condition at all, lip protection is absolutely paramount. Now if anybody's played in the wind, anyone's played in excessive hot weather, anyone has played in the cold, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. When you walk off and you just touch that first pint of, of coffee, obviously, not everyone drinks as much beer as I do, but and your lips are absolutely burning, you feel like you want to peel the top layer of skin off your lips, these things can stop that. You can use all sorts of different things. I have a, a, a Norwegian formula one here, which works great, does the trick. And to be honest, if that doesn't work, I generally steal the girlfriend's cherry one. Or if I'm feeling a little bit fruity, I might just take that one anyway. And if that one fails, I also steal this one. I don't even like mojitos, but anyway. So that is thing number four. Thing number five of stupid things that all golfers should have in their golf bag is... Now, everybody uses something like this, don't they? Some kind of range finder, some kind of GPS, some kind of maybe a caddy. If you can afford a caddy, that's great. Some kind of yardage device that can tell you how far you have to the hole. 
But do you know how far you can hit a golf ball with a 7 iron? Don't say stock 150 yards. Do you know how far your hybrid goes? Do you know how far a three quarter pitching wedge goes? Into a wind, downwind. Make sure you have a yardage chart. A personalised yardage chart that you can have gone through with your pro, with your coach, with anybody who pretty much knows what they're doing with a launch monitor. It can be something as informal and scribbled down like this. Just a quick chart that you can reach for in your pocket, you can reach for out of your bag, and you can see exactly how far you hit that golf club. So then when it comes to it and you get on the bushnell and you... I don't know why I did... So when, you, when it comes to it and you get on the bushnell and you zap it and you see you have 130 yards, you can reach for your sheet and you can say 130 yards, 8 iron, all day long, I'm confident I'm going to hit it, boom, middle of the green, better scores. Thanks James for the stupid things to have in your bag video. I never thought of that. Okay, firing through these now guys, the sixth thing of seven stupid things that every golfer should have in their golf bag. Now you may not be able to work this out of me just showing you two random things I've dragged out of my bag in a Valderon pitch mark repairer and a Masters ball marker. Yes, of course, every golfer should have a pitch mark repairer and every golfer should have a ball marker. But for me, you have to have something lucky. You have to have something that brings you positive vibes, something that puts you in a good place mentally. Now, this is something which I, I mean, these are my two things. My dad bought me these. They put me in a good place mentally. When things aren't going right, I generally use them on every hole anyway, but it takes me away mentally from the negative place where I've put myself thanks to rubbish golf. And we've all been there, haven't we? So it's imperative. You might have a picture of your kids. You might have a picture of your wife. You might have a picture of your girlfriend. You might have a picture of both. But you have to have something for me that takes you away from golf, even if it's just for 10 seconds that you look at, that you give it a quick rub as you walk into the next tee. That is thing number six of stupid things every golfer should have in their golf bag. On to number seven. The seventh and final point. Who here has adjustable golf clubs? I have an adjustable driver, I currently also have an adjustable hybrid and an adjustable three wood. And actually come to think of it, I have an adjustable putter. So why don't people carry these things around with them? The wrenches that help you adjust the clubs. And not only that, but the menu that also helps you know what you're adjusting them to. Now obviously in the rules of golf, you cannot adjust these mid-round because it would be against against the rules of golf. But if you're in a practice round, if you're on the range, you're looking for something, you're trying to tweak something, things aren't quite right. Who has had someone come up to them and say, James, have you got one of those wrenches for the, you work in a pro shop, don't you? You must have one of the wrenches for the drivers. So you mean to tell me you've spent upwards of 400 pounds on a driver and they give you one of these wrenches with the driver. Obviously the title this wouldn't give you a ping one, but anyway. And the first thing you do with said wrench is obviously take a look at it and think, oh, I got something free with my driver. Straight away, that goes in the boot of the car, that goes anywhere else other than where it needs to be in the golf bag. Ah, that one did mark the wall. I need to learn to stop throwing things around. Guys, that was seven stupid things that every golfer should have in their golf bag. Let's have a quick pan over them all now, just so you can remember. We have the chapstick for the lips, we have the plasters, we have the sandwich bag, we have the wrench tool for the adjustable drivers, we have something lucky and sentimental, I have the pitch marker there and the ball marker, we have a sharpie marker, and we have the distance charts. Guys, I've been James Robinson. I really hope you've enjoyed that video. Like I said, my goal is to bring you daily golf-related content that helps you up your game, lower your handicap, and pretty much improve your overall enjoyment of golf. If you have enjoyed that video, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Comment below, is there anything else stupid that golfers don't quite think of that needs to be in their golf bag? If there is, let me know. Maybe I'll add it to the next video. Apart from that, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to ring that little notification bell, that will inform you whenever I upload new content so you can be one of the first to know, and you can be the first to comment, you can be the first to like it, you can be the first to do anything you want. Apart from that, see you soon.